Hey everybody, Bill Inelli, broker owner of Inelli & Associates. Welcome to the Real Estate Matters video cast for July. How about the new email newsletter that we've put the video cast in? What do you think? Let me know. I'm tweaking it. Got a trivia question there, some statistics, and a little article of the month down below that I write. This month it's on the uh, cell phone usage and how people treat the cell phones here. It's an interesting little funny uh, little take on cell phones. Every month I'll try to I'll try to do an article on uh, things that are bugging me or things that I like. I think you'll enjoy it. Pretty cool. Only took me a few months to put this together, but uh, feel free to spread it on to friends, family, or anyone interested in real estate. And we're going to grow that database. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. It's informative and entertaining, and that's what we're here to do on the uh, Phoenix and Prescott real estate market. We're going to cover a little bit of Prescott. Prescott statistics also as we move along here. So let's get right to it. It's hot down here in July. Whew, it's hot everywhere in the country, actually. And the market continues to roll along. 19,000 active listings here in Phoenix, which is, uh, you know, that's a low inventory for over 3 million people. Used to be the 1, 120 range uh, out in Buckeye, Goodyear, Avondale, all the outline areas. Now it's uh, creeping up a little bit even higher than that to buy a nice house. Prices of, you know, they used to be in the 80, now they're up in the 130 range. Multiple offers on the outline areas. You come in closer now, Gilbert, Chandler, Phoenix proper, you're looking around 170, 180. Those things are flying. I mean, there's a lot of activity. Multiple offers on short sales, foreclosures, anything and everything that's priced right in that uh, sweet spot in the, in the valley from uh, 150 to 200 on the outline areas from 90 to 130 you know it's it's popping so if you have a property call me you might be surprised what it's worth you know you might have put it away and said oh yeah our house isn't worth anything I can do a quick evaluation and let you know and you might go whoa maybe we should look to sell the property because things are moving along really well so call me if you're thinking about selling or buying or anything having to do with the real estate market, about 47% of those sales are foreclosures and short sales. So a little less than half. We're still getting rid of that inventory. And there's been big discussions on, hey, Bill, are they going to flood the market with, with bank-owned properties coming up? Now, I've talked to both parties on each side. I've talked to a, an asset manager and, a, and an individual that really disposes of a lot of those properties. And he says, hey, man, I'm not getting anything coming through like I used to. This thing's drying out. I think we're going to see some sporadic houses put on the market, but nothing like this gigantic dumping on houses. We're, we're still a long way to go, but it looks a lot better than it did. So the average price here in Phoenix is in the uh, 190 range for sales. The median home price, which is completely different. Remember, median, you take the highs and the lows and the middle, and you take the middle figure, that's about 143. So you can look up median in the, in, on the Wikipedia or Google it and, and kind of see the difference. It's not average, but it's a good indication. Anything 140, 145 in the market is moving. But the average overall price here the last month was about 190, 192. Now let's take Prescott up there. 1,560 active listings in Prescott for you folks up there. That's not a lot either for Prescott, Prescott Valley, Chino. Now the average sales price, 205. The median price, 173. So if you're in Prescott, you have stuff in the 150, 170, even lower, and it's priced right, it's going, it's moving. But the uh, the average sales price is 205. A little bit different market up there. Uh, average days on market in Phoenix 65. Average days on market in Prescott about 120. So you can see the difference. Stuff moves quicker here. Things tend to be priced a little bit higher up north. People say, why don't you put these stats on your YouTube video here, Bill? I'm trying. That's taking some time, too. I'll figure that out in a month or so. So we'll have the stats kind of scrolling across how many listings that you've seen videos like that. You know, come on. Get old dog new tricks here. You know, I'm getting old. I'll tell you. Get no respect. Went to the bar last night. They said, get out of here. I want to start happy hour. All right, here we go. Back to this. Everything else is moving along. Now, home loan modifications. Still tough. Got a gal that works those, Nadia. Give me a call if you need help with the modification. 
you can go to makinghomeaffordable.gov and check out all your qualifications, see if you qualify for a mod, or she can help you along with that. Very difficult. Short sales continue to be difficult. Interest rates below 4, 3.75. Have you, you know, you old timers and me, have you, did you ever think you'd see 3.75% fixed interest rate in 2012? Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. The healthcare debate continues to go back and forth. There's been big misinformation, good information. Let me just clear one thing up once again on the healthcare, on real estate tax. There's emails going around that, oh, my property is going to get taxed 3.8%. Well, yes and no. Probably no. Unless you make 200 being single or 250,000 married, and unless you sell something over the capital gains exemption, for example, it's uh, 250000 for a single person, $500,000 you pay no tax on the gain for married people. So let me give you the example for a married couple. If you sold your house and you realize the gain of 550000 and you're married, 500000 of that you would not have to pay taxes on with the capital gains exemption. The additional 50000 profit, you would pay 3.8% tax on this new health care bill. So you follow me? It's not like if you sold your house, uh, you bought your house for 100, you sold it for 120. Oh my God, there's a 3.8% tax. No. So I'm not here to debate this 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 health care issue. It's 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 polarizing the country. Politics is polarizing the country right now. I'm going to stay out of that. I'm going to talk about real estate, but that is the the fact right now. There'll be changes coming along. We'll inform you on all of that. So from now to November, you know you're going to be inundated with all of these. Yes, no, this is true, this is not true. I'm going to try to straighten it out for you. If you have questions on any of the real estate issues, let me know. So stay in touch. Let me know what's happening. Hey, licensees are also on the rise. There's a 68, 69,000 licensed realtors in Arizona. I just pulled this up because I teach these classes. So you figure 6.5 million people. There's about one of us for every 100 people in Arizona. A lot of these people, probably half of them are inactive, not practicing, but staggering. That's why we wear name tags, so we don't sell each other something. There's still people crawling around getting their license. It used to be about 50000 a year and a half ago in the market tank. Now people are getting back into the real estate market. You poor people. Come on board. See the bags. See the less hair. Get your license. Easy. <laughs> Give me a call. We'll talk about it, 602-463-9166. Subscribe to the newsletter. Let me know what you think. Read the articles, and we hope to talk to you soon. Hope you have a great July, and uh, things hopefully will cool down a little bit. Maybe we'll get some rain. The haboob, the windy haboob, habib haboob, monsoon, boom, boom. Unprecedented team coverage on the news of the haboob. Look at the wind. We have a camera in the car. I saw that the other night. Cracked me up. Stay with us. We'll talk to you soon at Real Estate Matters. Have a great 4th. Actually, the 4th's passed. Have a great rest of July, and we'll talk to you.